you will be amazed. This is the mystery of life. I can't promise it to you, but I will share it with you because it's my experience. Many, many times I have experienced same thing and yet the challenge always comes over and over again and I have to demonstrate to life, to the boss, Her Majesty, myself, is our words that I'm worthy of wisdom. I'm worthy of where I am. I'm worthy to be a teacher and teach. And that is getting challenged continuously. It doesn't matter where you're at in your consciousness. Challenges are always going to come according to where you're at in your level of consciousness, in your level of development. They may not put your 15-year-old or, or your friend who just came to spirituality under the same pressure as they may put you under that pressure because you're more developed and you can handle more. Your capacity is larger. So you can handle a bigger challenge, which will flip them and break them. And your friend who just arrived in spirituality and start to develop, they'll have their own challenges according to the ca ca their capability of what they can handle. So they take them to their limits and then they, they give you other challenges according to what you can handle. And then let's say you're more developed and more awakened and you're going to have your challenges in that level. You know, but the challenges are not going to stop. This is, you need to understand this part. Awakening and coming to a higher level of consciousness is not going to give you any kind of power that you can manipulate things to go your way. That way of thinking is absolutely wrong. And whatever teachings you're getting, any, whatever, wherever you're going, that they're teaching you techniques and methods that you can manipulate life to go your way, you're on the wrong path because you're going to discover that it doesn't work. It will work for a short period of time, but the more you get evolved, the more you realize they don't work. The path is that you start to accept and surrender to what is. Again, now surrendering to what is doesn't mean you're not going to put an effort. It doesn't mean you're not going to get upset. It doesn't mean you're not going to try to make improvements in your life. It doesn't mean I sit here all day long and I don't do anything. Because I'm surrendered to life and I accept life. So I'm just sitting here in my office and I'm waiting for everything to come to me. That doesn't mean that. I still get up and hustle and go here and go there and show up. And, and maybe I'm late to my appointment or to my lecture and I get nervous. Maybe I'm anxious. You know, maybe something happens, makes me angry. Maybe I get some bad news, I feel sad. Maybe there's a moment that I'm somewhere and I feel the feeling of being alone comes and I feel lonely. Why aren't I with anybody or I don't have people around me or whatever, the feelings come and go. The thoughts come and go. But you remain in your own center. You stay in your center. You, when you, you look for your center, you find yourself, you find the part of yourself, which I'm gonna use different words, and you tell me which 
you pick up that one that works for you. You bring your attention inwards to yourself and you find the Buddha within yourself. You find a part of yourself that is very still. It's like this. Emotions come, stories come, but this part of you is not reacting to anything. It's not reacting to your partner comes and tells you, you know what, I'm not into living with you anymore. I'm over it. Okay, how many times that has happened? You're seeing somebody and they come and tell you, hey, you know, I don't love you anymore. I'm not attracted to you anymore. And I don't want to be with you anymore. And what is normally our reaction? Most people fall apart. Oh my God, why me? Or why don't you want to be with me? And what have I done? Or, or, or there must be something wrong with me or I'm out of shape or I'm getting older or, I'm, or he, he or she has, must found someone else and ah, crying out, falling apart, falling into pieces, okay? And they're very spiritual. They go to different workshops, seminars, they're reading all these books, but now something is not going their way and they're falling into pieces, they're a mess. Instead of partner comes, tells you, I don't wanna be with you anymore and I don't love you and you stay in your center instead of pointing finger at you, no, this is wrong with you, da 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 and reacting, you just stay in your center. You take it, you hear it, you say, okay, thank you, I appreciate it. And you stay in your center and you don't react in that way, not reacting from a chaotic place. You may react, but you react from a very collected, centered, place which you have found your equilibrium you react from there not the reaction emotional reaction of what you see the world does you go to tell a big group of muslims that god doesn't exist and all of a sudden they want to tear you into pieces or you go talk to the the jewish tribe and tell something that they don't like to hear, and then they want to tear you into pieces. Or you go to the Christian, uh, born again Christians or fundamentalists, and tell them Jesus never existed, and they want to kill you and tear you apart right then and there. And you go to a group that they're big supporters of Donald Trump, you're in Texas, and you tell them that Donald Trump is blah, 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 and they're ready to shoot you with a shotgun. So, same thing. Somebody comes and tells you something that it doesn't go with your prejudice. Whatever is your prejudice. Let's say you're really into Hare Krishnas, and you're really into Buddhism, and you're a Buddhist monk, or you have this belief system, spiritual belief system, and somebody comes and says something to opposite of your belief system. And now you're all defending yourself and you're defending your prejudice and you're ready to kill and angry and really want to prove your point that you're right. Even though if you're right, if you have mastered yourself, if you have found your equilibrium, if you have found your center and somebody comes and insults your belief or your way, you just stay in your center. You hear it and you say, okay, okay, and you don't react. And you develop this, you will be amazed how things change in your life. 